Hi, this is Tim Rudin, author of Statistics in Plain English, and this is a mini lesson on scattergrams and what they are used for in statistics. So, um, a scattergram is something that looks like this, and what we've got here is um, uh, just a plotting of data. So, on the y axis here, um, we have age. So say I've got a sample of um, five students and they range in age, say, f from five to ten, or in this case, five to nine years old. And so my Y variable is going to be age, and my X variable, which is plotted on the X axis here, is running speed. So say that these are miles per hour one mile an hour, two miles an hour, three miles an hour, um, like that. And I have a small sample of five kids, and this is their data. So the first kid, um, he is uh, runs four, years, four miles per hour, and he is six years old. Uh, the second kid runs three miles per hour, and he's five years old. And if you um, look on this graph, this first kid that runs four miles an hour and is six years old, he's plotted right there. And the second kid that runs three miles per hour and is five years old, that is her score right there. And um, uh, so that is how you create a scattergram. You just take a sample of data um, that you have scores for each person or whatever um, in your sample, and you plot their scores along two dimensions, along an x and y axis at the same time. And that gives you a scattergram. Now, what are scattergrams used for in statistics? Um, one, they can kind of give you an idea of the shape of the data. So if you look at these dots, that was horrible. Let me try that again. Um, let's see. Um, all right, sorry about that. I'm going to do it freehand. If you look at these dots here, um, you'll see that in general, they go in a sort of upwardly direction <clears throat> from left to right, um, meaning as kids get older, their running speed increases in general, not everybody. Um, and you can see over here, there is one kid who is on the older side, eight years old, um, but runs very slowly. And that kid who looks pretty different from the general direction of all of these scores uh, is a bit of an outlier, would be thought of as an outlier there. Um, so in general, you got this kind of upward moving upward trend and this tells you that the correlation between age and running speed is generally speaking going to be positive. Now the closer the dots are to this kind of upward line the stronger the correlation is going to be. These dots are in um, this little batch are pretty close together along this kind of imaginary line. Um, but this one over here, this outlier over here, is going to weaken the correlation quite a bit. All right, another um, use of scattergrams is to give you an idea of the correlation and the, and not the correlation, the regression and the regression line. So um, um, correlation and regression are very closely related. Uh, but the regression line <coughs> is a straight line that goes through the data um, it's a straight line that goes through the data and creates the smallest sort of what's known as the smallest residual <clears throat> the smallest sum of squared residuals so what residuals are are distances between the line and each point so that is a residual right there.
And the regression line, which is this thing right here, is the line that gives you the smallest sum of the squared residuals. Um, and this is known as OLS, Ordinary Least Squares Regression. Now this here is what the regression line would look like if we didn't have to worry about this guy. But <clears throat> that guy is going to change the regression line quite a bit. And instead of having this kind of clean, sort of moving up uh, positive correlation regression thing, this guy is going to make this regression line quite a bit flatter. And it's going to look like this. So now to get a straight line that goes through all of these data that produces the smallest sum of squared residuals, the line's going to be like that to take into account uh, the effects of that outlier right there. So as you can see, this line here is a lot flatter and um, the incline is still there, but it's um, not nearly as steep as the orange line. And uh, that just reflects the weaker correlation between um, age and running speed that's caused by uh, this outlier over here. So that is what scattergrams are for, and that's how they're used to give you an idea of the correlation between two variables and the regression line between two variables. Hope that helps.